Hi, everybody. I want to welcome you to Statistics, STA 2023. I'm going to go over the best way to navigate through this course. Please click into the class. I know there's a lot of controls outside the class with calendars and things like that. The best thing to do is start at the homepage. Here's the last few announcements. If you see something here that you didn't know about, I would recommend that you start looking at the announcements. I've just gone into student view. This is what your class should look like when you first come in. Here's the announcements. Here's a pacing guide. This is a fully online class. Students are responsible to actively review lecture materials, PowerPoint slides, and complete homework online before attempting quizzes and exams. The course is structured in blocks or modules and tasks are assigned per week. We have homework, we have quizzes, we have exams. We will drop three of the, ho of the homeworks. We'll drop three quizzes. And as far as the exams, there is no retakes and no exams will be dropped. All assignments of any particular week are due by Friday of the following week. Quizzes and exams are only available on a Friday from 12.01 a.m. until 11.59 p.m., basically midnight to midnight, except for the final, which is Thursday from 12.01 a.m. to 11.59 p.m. And if you scroll through, I have the opening day of the class, which was May 11th, what you need to do this week. There's your homework. Test your computer for lockdown browser. If you didn't just take a Pearson course last semester, then the lockdown browser's changed. You cannot use any other lockdown browser. It has to be the one from Pearson. You cannot use the one from Canvas. Check it out before the quiz because if you're not ready for the quiz and midnight passes, then you'll get a zero for that quiz. If you're having some problems, let me know. I'll be happy to help you. Test your computer for lockdown browser before Friday. Here are stat crunch videos. I really don't recommend that you watch them all. I try to break it down per week, what you need and to my lectures. If you want to get to my lab, you can go through here. If you want to see your grade and you want to see what you got wrong, you have to go click here, my lab statistics grade book. You can review old assignments. Here's your e-textbook. There's also a multimedia library, probably better than e-textbook. When you first enter Pearson, this is what it looks like. You just have to go down to the bottom or you can read it all, your choice, and click I accept. Now you have these options. If you have an access code, you can put it in now. You can buy it right now. It is $55 or pay later. Notice here it says get temporary access to your course for 14 days without payment. You'll be prompted to pay by credit card or with an access code once your temporary access code has expired. And this is the date mine will expire, which is 14 days from now. I cannot purchase between now and May 28th. On May 28th, I have to be ready for purchase. You will lose access. You will not lose your work. You'll just lose access to everything until you pay. Your work will be saved. I'm returning to course. Let's say I want to know something about probability. I can go chapter four and I can choose 4.3. And show me everything that you have for 4.3. And look, there's some videos. These are not my videos. These are Pearson videos. Here's your multimedia textbook and it's at the right section. PowerPoint, a few cl video clips, not mine either, and a video lecture, again, not mine. This is what Pearson has to offer. Every week is going to look similar to this. Here's week one. This is to test your lockdown browser. Click here. You want to test your lockdown browser. Make sure you're ready for the quiz. All quizzes and tests will be in lockdown browser with a webcam. Here is my lecture. Here's the PowerPoint that I used in my lecture. 
Here's your homework for 1.1. Here's 1.2 lecture, part one, and this is part two. 1.2 PowerPoint, homework, and then on May 17th, which is Friday, between midnight and midnight, you can take quiz one. Week two, all of these with these links out here, these are all videos. These are my videos. I've edited all these. I absolutely recommend that you watch my videos. Let's go over the syllabus. And I promise I won't read you the syllabus. I'll just highlight the important parts. My name is Lisa Greenberg. This is my email address. I would really prefer if you would send me an email through Canvas, not directly to my email address. My office is virtual on Zoom. My office hours are Tuesday, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. or by request. If these office hours don't work for you, please set up an appointment with me and I'll be happy to meet with you outside of those hours. This is my cell phone. It is fine with me if you call me, if you text me. Please be reasonable about the times. If it's an emergency, which certain things are emergencies, for example, it is seven o'clock at night on a Friday and you can't get into the test. I would highly recommend texting me or calling me. This is our TA, Nathan Blood. These are his office hours. 100% of the course is delivered online. You do need to have an access code for my lab statistics. There will be weekly quizzes as well as three exams. Every week, you will have either a quiz or an exam. Number four, homework is assigned and it is the student's responsibility to submit the homework by the due date. Plan to complete the homework before it is due because lapses in internet access and outages are not valid excuses for incomplete assignments. Homework is open for a week. You have to have some reason why no day during that week you are able to do your homework. Missing a weekly quiz without a valid excuse will result in a zero grade on that particular quiz. Also, I expect you to have your camera on and I expect your camera to be pointing at your hands. I want to see your hands and the desk at all times. I wanna know what's on your desk. You are allowed to use notes. Notes are fine. However, you cannot use any other electronics. I will enable the calculator on Pearson's Lockdown Browser. The only thing you need is a piece of paper, your notes, and something to write with. That's all I expect to see in your hands for the entire quiz and exam. When we're talking about attendance policy, basically we're just talking about tests and quizzes for the fully online classes. The only way you can make up any work is if you have a legitimate class absence, such as an illness, family emergency, military obligation, university approved activities. You can't just tell me I have an emer we had a family emergency. You have to tell me what the family emergency was and you have to provide documentation. No matter what it is, you have to provide documentation. When you send me an email requesting an extension on an, an assignment, please attach the documentation with it. Otherwise, we're gonna go back and forth. Policies on makeup tests, late work and incompletes, read all of this. Make a policy. I do not deviate from the syllabus. Please don't ask me for special privileges. I can't. I have big classes and I can't individually make decisions like that. Here we have the Math Learning Center. We have free tutoring here and you can just read through here and click on the links and see what you need to do. Here's our topic outline. And here's the same pacing guide as I already showed you. Now we have discussion. This is an introduction discussion. You can go in and you can just introduce yourself to your classmates. I've also opened this discussion thread. It's called Ask Questions. It's perfect. We have people already here posting questions. This is perfect. That way, if I answer one person, 
I'll answer multiple people at the same time. Your grade book, don't worry about the dates right now, please. I'm getting them together. The grade here will not be 100% correct. It's because of the way that Canvas calculates its grades. It will be close. If you want to know a closer estimate of your grade, it will be Pearson. Let's go to Zoom. Here are my office hours. You will also see office hours for Nathan Zoom. This is not a difficult course. It is not even very time consuming. Watch the videos, do the homeworks, take notes, make sure you know what calculator and stack crunch to use. If you have any questions, ask, come ask me. You can call me, you can text me, you can email me. If I don't answer the phone, text me. I will call you back as soon as I can. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.